Hello again, everyone. So I hope you are all having a good day. So let's proceed to our next lesson, which is the double declining balance method. I think this is the fifth one. So for the definition of this one is very similar to DBM method. So the depreciation per year is still per fixed percentage of the book value every year. But all you have to do is replace the K or the variable K with 2 over L in every formula in the formula in DBM. Okay, so okay, so with that, let's proceed to the tabular method, which is uh, always the first method I add, that I teach. So you always know where the formula came from. Okay, so for uh, our problem, we have an equipment cost 100,000 and has an estimated life of 5 years, and then tabulate its depreciation and book value every year. So basically, you are asked to find uh, everything. Okay, so... I'll start with again introducing the the symbols that I will be using. So we have uh, the DN or the total depreciation. That will be the total uh, depreciation at year end. At year end, and then we have the small D, which is the depreciation at year end. CO, the original cost. CL will be your salvage value. And then, oh, CN, your book value at year end. And then, what else? L is your useful life. N is your year. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so let's proceed on plotting the given. So we have uh, CO, the given, that is 100,000. And then L is equal to 5 years. Okay. Okay, so let's proceed to the uh, table method. So I'll try to make this fast because this is a really easy method. So for this one, this must be your uh, 2 over L. So this will become, of course, you don't have anything here yet. So this will become 2 over L is 5, right? So 2 over 5, 2 over 5, 2 over 5, 2 over 5. And then, of course, the first value is 100,000. And then all you have to do is one to get the depreciation for this year, that will become 100,000 times 2 over 5. That will give us... 40k and then 100k minus 40k that will become 60k you have to minus or do lessen the depreciation for the book value and then again 60k times 2 over 5 that will uh, give you 24k so 24k minus 60k again it will give us 36k then times 2 over 5 again and that is 14400 and then minus 36k, that's 21,600. And then times 2 over 5 again, 8, 6, 40. And then minus 21,600. So 12, 9, 60 times 2 over 5, that's 5, 1, 8, 4. And then finally minus 12, 9, uh, subtract that to 12, 9, 60, you'll get here 7, 7, Six. Okay. So for the total depreciation, of course, this one is 40k. And then for the total depreciation at year 2, you have to add 40k and 24k. That will give us 64k. For the third, you have to add this 3. That is 78. 400. And then add this 4 to get for the fourth year. That's 87,040. I was able to do this beforehand. That's why I already know the values. But you can try it, uh, try, try it out to your in your calculus. And then for the last one, you'll get 9,224. 9, so this one must be your salvage value or the CL. It is always like that. It is all, The last book value is always must be your salvage value. And then for this one, that is your CO minus CL. So this must be your uh, 100,000 minus the 7776. 
it should be this one. Okay. So we were able to find every values that we need and let's proceed to the formulas. Okay. So for the formulas you have here, I'll just plot the values or the formula for DBM. So for the formulas for DBM, you have here DN. This is for DB, DBM first. So I want you to show the comparison of the DBM and the DDBM. So this is CO times K times 1 minus K raised to N minus 1. And then next one is our CN. So this is equal to um, CO times 1 minus K raised to N. And then for the last one, for the total depreciation, DN is equal to um, CO times 1 minus 1 minus K. Raised to N. So that will be your uh, DBM. Okay. So now, so um, to find the formulas for DDBM, just replace um, all K with 2 over L. And that's it. Let's make this one bigger. Make it blue or red. Okay, so with that, um, let's try now to find the formulas for um, D, D, B, M. So with all the Ks here, replace it by 2 over L. Therefore, your DN for D, D, B, M is equal to uh, 2 C, O all over L times 1 minus 2 over L times N minus 1. So that is your DN, and then your CN will be equal to um, CO times 1 minus 2 over L raised to N, and then your total depreciation, it must be equal to CO 1 minus 1 again minus 2 over L raised to N. Oops, there you go. So this will be your formula for the DBM. Of course, let's try this out. So trying out, let's say to find a D2. So D2 will be a 2 times 100,000 all over 5 times 1 minus 2 over 5 raised to 2 minus 1. So the answer here must be this one. This must be 24k okay. okay and then let's try to find c3 oops so this one must be 100k times 1 minus 2 over 5 raised to n it must be 3 so the answer for this one must be this one uh, you can try it out in your calcul and then for the last one, let's try D4, which is 100, K, 1, minus, 1 minus, 2 over 5, raised to N, which is raised to 4. So the answer for this one, it must be this one. It must be 87, 0, 4. Uh, just to make sure, let's try it out in our calculus. I hope you are also trying it now. I'll be trying it as well. So we can solve at the same time. So this is... Times 1 minus 2 over 5. Then raise 2. Okay, the first one is right. And then... Let's... Okay, the second one is also right. And then for the last one, we have 1 minus 2 over 5. 
and the last one is also right so i was able i was able to verify the formulas that all, all the formulas that i given to you is all correct so again uh last one is if you want to find the salvage value for using the double declining balance method we also have a formula for that so we have a cl it will be equal to 2 co all over l oh no sorry about that that is a co times 1 minus 2 over L raised to L. So that will be the formula for the salvage value. So I think that's it for this video and I hope I was able to help you again guys especially this during these online classes. So again i want to thank you all guys for watching and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and of course hit that bell notification so that I, uh, you you will be notified as soon as i upload a new one so i want to thank you all guys for watching and have a great day and i'll see you on the next one bye bye